Firstly, it's very important that you try and get your vehicle as level as possible. Um, once you've got your vehicle level, chuck up all the wheels. In other words, place sturdy rocks behind each of the other three wheels, ensuring that the car will not roll anywhere or move while you're changing the tire. Once you've done that, you can remove the spare wheel off the back of the vehicle or underneath the vehicle, depending where it is, and just have it handy on, on the one side. Before you start jacking, look at ensure that you have a nice secure jacking point underneath the axle. This is very important. Um, it must be flat and sturdy. Once you start putting pressure from the jack, the car must not move. Okay, once your jack's in position and you're happy that it's got a nice stable platform, before lifting the jack, loosen the uh, wheel nuts. Just, just loosen them. You don't have to take them off, just so that uh, it's easier to remove once the vehicle is in the air. All right, I've, I've just loosened the uh, wheel nuts and now we'll just jack up the car and just do it slowly and gently to make sure the car doesn't shift. Once you've got a bit of tension on the jack, it's worth having another look and make sure the jack doesn't shift out of place. Yeah, looking good. Once you've raised the vehicle sufficiently, um, you can then remove the remaining wheel nuts, remove the wheel and replace it with a, with a spare. If you have a rear wheel puncture, you will need to release a handbrake in order to get the wheel off the hub. This is why it's so important that you chuck up the wheel sufficiently, chuck up all the wheels sufficiently around the car. Okay, we refitted the new wheel, we've hand tightened the wheel nuts. Um, once it's been lowered and the tire is back on the ground, then we can give it a nice little tighten using the wheel spanner. It's a good idea to tighten them alternatively, so every second nut just swing across diagonally so that you kind of do a circular motion.